Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Suddenly Cursor have updated their pricing plan features. Here you see under this $20 per month pro plan, they have unlimited agent request, but previously they had 500 agent request. Now it is unlimited and also they have included unlimited tab completion, access to background agent, access to bug bot and access to maximum context window. And people are getting confused between these features. What is this unlimited agent request? And what is this access to maximum context window? Why there is 200 per month plan? Okay, because if you are getting unlimited agent request in this $20 per month, then why there is $20, $200 per month, right? So in this video, I will clear all of these things to you. Watch this video till the end. And here you see that I have written these things for you in a simple way so that you can understand. And here you see someone on Reddit posted that was working on a project and I had something like 205 out of 500 request then refresh to check and it's short unlimited. Awesome. Although curious why they decided to upgrade it. Okay. It is creating a confusion that there is no official post and without any official post they have updated their pricing plan suddenly why they are doing this and what is the meaning of this unlimited agent request that means you will get uh, unlimited request there is uh, no rate limit so i will discuss all of that things here you see pro plan updates unlimited with rate limits okay this is the actual things unlimited means unlimited with rate limit here you see the pro plan which you are currently on has been updated to be more generous by default it now operates on an unlimited with rate limits model okay previous system what was there the pro plan used to include 500 fast requests per month and once these were used you had to purchase some more or switch to a different pricing model right if you had uh, used all of that request then you need to purchase new one it was there right now the new, new things or the new system that they have introduced, the plan now offers unlimited request. However, this is the important thing. After you use your allotted fast request. Okay. So there is a fast request and slow request is there. Those who have used the tray free version, they know that tray offers the free access to the top premium AI models. And uh, if there is a uh, high traffic, then they send your request to a queue and after some time uh, when your position will come, your query will be executed. And the similar thing, this cursor is also implementing. Here you see subsequent request means after the first request that was allotted to you was uh, fulfilled. Okay. Then the subsequent, uh, subsequent request are processed as slow request. Okay. And these slow requests are free but are handled with a lower priority than those from the paying users or users within their first request limit. All limits on tool calls have also been removed. Means previously there was a, like uh, for one request 25 tool calls was there. Now all of these tool calls uh, limit was have been removed. Okay. And the thing is that if you see user choice and also this user based option. So existing pro users have the option to remain on the old 500 request limit system. So that's why existing users will see this kind of screen that uh, your already consumed credit and uh, after that this 500. So you will see this and also uh, you will see these things. Uh, yes, this can be configured in the advanced settings of the user dashboard means if you uh, if you prefer the old 500 request limit system then in that case you can configure that okay that you see that uh, this is the option that you will see usage based pricing is off clearly they have mentioned here usage based pricing is off get request beyond your plans included quota with usage based pricing and for that you have to enable this okay means what they are telling that First, they will give you the 500 request, right? And uh, these are the first request. When this 500 request quota got completed, after that, all of the requests that you will make, it will be considered as a slow request. And that slow request has a low priority, right? Now, it will take some more time to execute. So in that case, you can 
enable this usage based pricing and you can purchase more credit okay so basically uh, they are saying that it is unlimited agent request but you may face some slowness in your uh, execution or in your request okay i hope you got that point and also let me show you that things this usage based option that i have already told you if you run out of your included first request you can also opt into usage based pricing this one okay and uh, here you see let me show you another thing and uh, this is the important thing that number of request consumed varies depending on the model used and in normal mode each message cost a fixed number of request while max mode pricing is based on the number of token process just remember this thing okay and uh, i hope you know that uh, uh, for for cloud or this for gemini models and for open ai models there is a different credit system in wineserve also it is there in cardserv is also it is there okay and what is the meaning of this access to maximum context window it is basically uh, that um, each model okay this cloud or gemini like gemini have a 1 million request context window and this cloud have uh, some uh, kind of 128k uh, or whatever is there you please check that so each model have different context window right so you will get access to that context window for different different model okay uh, under this 20 dollar per month and uh, i hope this two point got clear to you and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section i will give you answer and uh, this unlimited tab completion you will get it is completely free there is no limit and this access to background agent access to bug bot is completely two new feature that they have added uh, this uh, in the previous week okay i have already discussed in my channel so if you have not watched that video still now please watch and otherwise if you want me to make a separate video on this background agent how to use it and also this bug bot how to use it just let me know in the comment section i will make a separate video separate two video on these two topics okay so i hope you found this video helpful guys if you found helpful this simple simple explanation with points just let me in the comment section and please like this video please subscribe this channel and don't forget to watch the other videos also where you see minimax agent yesterday i published a video please watch that okay and also if you want to reduce the cost of your o3 model of openai then please watch this video o3 flex it will be very helpful for you guys